AeroOS. This has been a ROM which has redefined custom ROMs on a lot of devices and yet again it is redefining stuff because we are talking about the Android 12 version of AeroOS. A lot of you guys out there, especially Poco X3 Pro users, have been asking me, requesting me to review this. So what I did is I actually gone ahead and installed it yesterday. Since then, I have been using it on this particular device. I've tried a couple of games, the benchmarks, the battery charging, the, you know, the battery backup, the smoothness of the UI. What are the features that are working and what are the features that are not working? We're going to cover it all in today's quick review of Aero S12's latest update for the Poco X3 Pro, which is also known as YU and Pima. But before we get into all these details, well, if you haven't already, I would request you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because, hey, it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. At the same time, if you like to be in touch with us on social media, you can join us on Instagram, Telegram, Facebook. Twitter, we are present everywhere, but we have a huge community of more than 1000 to 1200 people on Telegram, so join us there for sure. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Right now, let's have a look at what we have here. We have a wonderful, wonderful wallpaper and don't mind in this particular angle, I'm most of the time going to be looking at the phone because that's what I'm showing to you guys from this particular camera. So let's get to business over here. Now we have Aero OS 12, right? Name is self-explanatory. So Aero OS 12 is based on Android 12. It comes for the Poco X3 Pro and it's a very, very clean UI based operating system. The moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will notice that it comes with very beautiful wallpapers like, you know, the Google Pixel wallpapers and all the curated culture wallpapers, which make Monet UI look even better, to be honest. So the moment you boot into the ROM, you have a very, very clean user interface. You have these very basic icons at the bottom. The whole UI is super smooth and super fluid. Now, a small disclaimer over here, we are running this in always 120 Hertz mode. Now, what that means is you will get slightly less battery backup, but I prefer to use it in this particular manner. That is what it was intended to do ultra smoothness all the time. That's what custom ROMs are for. So from the top to bottom, you have your quick tiles or, you know, the shortcuts for various functions on your device in which you have basic things like airplane mode, DND, flashlight. You do have a screen recorder. Now for the Poco X3 Pro, the screen recorder is a very, very important factor in custom ROMs based on Android 12, because initially when the development began, a lot of ROMs were having this stutter issue. So what we'll do first is we'll go to device audio and microphone, which means while recording the display, we're going to record our own voice as well as the internal audio. And we're going to start the recording here. Let's see what happens. So the recording has begun. Now, if you ask me about the UI, unfortunately, even now there is stutter. I can see stutter right away. There is stutter and lag. I hope someday they will be able to fix it because this is a beautiful ROM, which has amazing, amazing smoothness. So yeah, the built-in recorder is going to give you screen stutter. So don't use that. Use maybe a third party screen recorder. But apart from that, if you're not using screen recording and you swipe to the left, you will find the Google feed, which is ultra smooth, works really, really well, especially in this 120 hertz mode. Now on our channel, on this channel, there has been a topic of debate that the Google feed lagging on stock ROMs on the Poco X3 Pro is not something abnormal, it happens in all the devices, even in Google Pixels. Like if you think that is the case, then install this custom ROM, for example, and see how smooth, how fluid this particular ROM has the Google feed arranged, right? Now, Google feed works fine. You have the screen recorder with stutters. And if you go to edit over here, now you start getting additional features, additional options like extra dim caffeine ambient display ambient display is something like pickup display because this is a device which comes with the lcd panel that means you should not use always on display it will eat out all your battery life you have dark theme and then you have the privacy quick access icons as well now once you are on the home screen if you press and hold you will see that you have home settings which gives you very very basic customization and then you have your android 12 widgets arranged like a boss and they work absolutely fine no problem whatsoever if you go further down you have wallpapers and more or wallpapers and style so if you go to change wallpaper you go to styles and wallpapers you have the curated culture over here say you select a green background wallpaper 
and then select set wallpaper for home screen and lock screen you will notice that monet ui is doing its magic and it's working flawlessly even if you go to say the calculator application let's locate the calculator here real quick there you go it's following the material theme and then calendar that is following the monet ui as well so the theming in this particular rom is working absolutely fine the themed icons on the main screen look great as well so you know at least the front and the smoothness of the ui is absolutely great on this particular rom i'll give it like four four and a half stars for such a early build now when you talk about the camera situation over here it does come with google camera go which is better than the basic camera application that comes with this particular device on most custom roms because this gives you portrait mode this gives you some more control over your picture quality and that is something really really neat so you know it doesn't come with a lot of bloatware we have installed the g apps version over here now let's quickly jump into settings now ROS is one of the custom roms in which you will not find a lot of customization it is not supposed to come with customization ROS from the beginning has been a rom which comes with focus of smoothness stability in the our mind just like pixel experience and that is the reason in this particular menu as well you don't see a dedicated arrow menu what you do see is all the basic android 12 functionalities i'm not going to waste your time by explaining all the features again and again which have been explained a zillion times by now from the time the first beta for android 12 was out so the important parts over here are battery under battery you do have thermal profiles but you don't have the 180 hertz touch sampling rate so that is good and bad and if you search for game over here a lot of in fact almost all the android 12 roms are me missing the gaming dashboard i really don't know why but they are missing the gaming dashboard you do have the game settings option over here and even if you go through the dnd route you will not find game dashboard so i re i really hope the arrow team will add it sooner rather than later under sound you have all the basic options with clear speaker and direct sound enhancer and if you actually go to display you will see that you have all the basic functionality all the basic options you do have an option of minimum and maximum refresh rate which gives you 60 90 and 120 hertz so that's good you have tap to wake which works absolutely fine apart from this if you go to privacy you have the android 12 privacy dashboard if you go to security you do have the fingerprint lock and that works absolutely fine unfortunately you still don't have face unlock in android 12 roms so if you go to system over here you will have gestures under which you have some sort of customization for example you do have the swipe to screenshot you have advanced restart you have tap to sleep so all those features are available like if i swipe over here i do get this capture more option which gives you sort of this magnified look which is really really neat and that works absolutely fine and apart from this last but not the least if you go to the about section of this wonderful rom you can go to android 12 you do see this is the official g apps android 12 version you keep tapping on it you will get the android 12 clock which will give you access to the android 12 easter egg it's not a secret anymore anyways now talking about the other things of this particular rom it definitely comes with the latest security patch that is the november security patch and if you talk about the kernel they are making their own kernel that is the arrow kernel now that leaves us with one or two things left to talk about the rom review in this particular video first of them being how is the battery life so let's go ahead and have a look what battery usage we've had so far so if you go to battery you go to battery usage you will see that i have un you know i have been plugging and unplugging it so we've just been using it on battery for three hours and we've had the screen on time for just one hour and 14 minutes but since yesterday when i was using it i'll tell you this the battery life is decent it's a little worse than android 11 custom roms but it's decent it can get through, get you through a day now the reason for that is this device comes with a 5000 milliamp power cell that means even on custom roms which are still work in progress you can get a complete day's battery life the charging for 33 watts is a little slow you'll get like probably 25 or 27 watts which is still plenty fast and in about one and a half to two hours your device should be charging from zero to hundred now let's talk about the important factors which will determine if you can install this rom or not one of them is safety net and if you don't have a pc a mac or a laptop and this device is all you have then you would probably consume your content like netflix amazon prime hd on this device as well which means you don't not only need banking applications you also need drm right so why do i let's go ahead and talk about drm info first now, as you can see over here 
it's l1 so your netflix is safe nothing to worry there now let's move on to the safety net test over here real quick run the test and as you can see yes the safety net is passing now one more thing to check over here let's go to the google play store and let's go to settings and let's see here the device is certified so as far as your netflix amazon prime hd and device being certified for banking applications is concerned you are definitely covered now we'll quickly have a look at the benchmark numbers so first we're going to look at the cpu throttle test for which we will go to google photos all right now let's have a look over here the cpu throttle test average score 175 650 gips and the cpu throttle to 93 percent of its max performance now that for me is a very decent score for a android 12 rom if you further go to geekbench it will give you further more insight 764 single core which is a decent score but the multi-core score of 2517 is sort of low for a custom rom based on android 12 now let's go to Antutu benchmark over here the Antutu benchmark score is 525,413 now once again this is a very low score because I've seen this device score up to 600,000 so if you ask me in a nutshell should I install this ROM or not well if you love pure Android look if you want a decent battery life and if you want the latest Android version with some customization and a kick Go ahead and install Arrow OS. But if you are a hardcore gamer, you are someone who does scrims and esports, I would not recommend this ROM. Stay away. But if you are anything other than that, you want to you know do casual gaming for one or two hours, absolutely go to Arrow OS. I'm pretty sure they're working hard and they will soon make a lot of improvements to this. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.